Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Zadian. This is Kerbal Space Program and it is no longer in beta, no longer in alpha. It is the full release version 1.0 and it's a real game now. It's been a real game for a really long time and I've been playing this game for about uh, two, three years now, uh, going through the alpha and the beta. I love this game so much. There's just so much fun. Uh, but we're going to start a new season of the full version. And we're going to start out with a career mode. I'm going to go ahead and select my flag. We're going to go with the Georgia flag because I am a Georgia boy. And, well, I'm a Georgia man because I made a child. That's right, my wife's pregnant, so I'm a man. Uh, we're going to go with the normal... Um, options in this uh, I will go back in there and hopefully be able to change it I accidentally left um, missing crew member respawn I wanted permadeath and I forgot to turn it off so I'm gonna have to go back and fix that eventually uh, of course this is all post commentary because the first couple episodes are going to be fairly quick when it comes to what all we do um, the first couple rockets and science and stuff like that it's not very exciting um, but the the later stuff will be, and of course we're gonna name this YouTube because, well, you know, it's going on YouTube. So reasons. Also, you'll notice that I did cut out um a lot of the loading screens uh because they are annoying. And why would you want to watch that? You don't want to watch loading screens. Anyway, let's take a look at our complex. As you see, it's still very basic. Nothing is upgraded. We're gonna be working on that here in just a little bit. We are going to get a couple upgrades in there. Um, but first, let's take a look at our contracts. Uh, we're going to get uh, launch our first vehicle and escape the atmosphere. These are the, uh, the first two missions you should pick up. I apologize. I mean, gather scientific data. These are the first two missions you should pick up. And that's it. So uh, we're going to knock one of them out really quick by just building a basic rocket. Um, not even really a rocket. It's just going to be a capsule. And um, you may notice that there are a couple new parts in here, that uh, little uh, little rocket. And you also start out with the goo, the mystery goo, which is a nice little little thing. I mean, it gives you a little extra science right there at the very beginning. But um, some of the mods I have on here, I will go into a little bit later. But uh, the, the big one that I'm going to be using this episode is going to be the science. Um, it, it helps you, it helps to notify you when you've got science, basically. So it'll pop up and say, oh, you can collect science with this. So we're going to get the goo. We're going to get the EVA report, which is what I'm doing right now. And then uh, we'll get a crew report. And that'll be it for the, uh, for the, first, for the first mission, uh, if you can call it that. Um, don't forget that if you're actually on the, the capsule itself, that you can get flying over Kerbin or you know low atmosphere um that's just uh and then when you jump off you can get actually on the pad so there's two different eva reports you can get there don't forget them uh you end up getting a, a good little bit of science to start out with and of course you can see we collected scientific data from Kerbin, so that was some extra money and and stuff uh let's go in here and get the first two tiers of our tri our our um uh, technology, uh, whatever the hell it's called, uh, <laughs> science, using our science. Um, unlock a couple uh, parts for us, which is going to help us kind of advance a little bit further. Uh, usually your first rocket is going to be using that, that new um, puddle, uh, puddler rocket. It's like half of what I'm going getting ready to use. It's half of the, uh, it's the uh, solid state rocket, solid rocket booster. Anyways, usually you start with that and you go up. It, it doesn't go very far. You maybe get 5,000 meters. That's about it. But because we did that first, we now can afford the bigger booster, which will take us even higher and break more records. I think we're going to go with Jebediah on this one. And uh, hope you enjoy the music. I, um, I'm doing, uh, this is like five times speed. Or not five times, this is like four times speed. But uh, that's because since it's fast, I'm playing music. So you don't hear the, the weird fast music and everything. But anyways, go up here real quick. We're going to get some uh, automatic things. Uh, as you can see right now, we're at 10. 
and those are all automatic. You don't have to pick up the uh, the height and the speed things anymore. And I'm coming back down. I've collected goo and some other science, uh, crew reports, stuff like that. So you can see I got like 10 things and I'm clearing them all out now. And these are all the speed records, the distance records, uh, height records, uh, a couple other things in there, and also um, launching your first vehicle, which we got uh, as well. That was uh, one of the missions that we were on. Um, yeah, one of, the, one of the big changes they've made is aerodynamics in this game. It is completely different. Your, your crazy ass wonky rockets will not work anymore. Um, they have incorporated a new aerodynamic system and drag system along with a heat system. So there is deadly reentry. Uh, these are all things you can tweak in the in the very beginning before you start your game. However, I did not. I didn't tweak them. I left them at their nor whatever whatever they are for normal. Anyway, coming back down. Um, there are also when you land in different segments of the space facility, the what you can do is hop out and get another EVA report which my little science indicator at the top will indicate. And I was like, oh, nice, didn't know that. So yeah, so I got that for being right there at the mission mission area. Anyway, after recovering our vehicle, you can see we got 40 science. Uh, we're gonna walk away with a good bit of cash too, uh, over two grand. And uh, our boy Jebediah is gonna get, uh, get some experience. He got one experience, which is good. Um, <laughs> The next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to look at our missions, and I don't think there's anything we can get right at this moment, but we can spend some of this glorious, glorious science. So we're going to pick up two more, um, two more upgrades. We're going to get survivability and stability, or not stability, um, survivability and uh, general rocketry. That's what I'm going to pick up. Um, you'll notice that if you hover your mouse over the uh, the tech node it actually tells you how much science it costs so you don't have to click on it so like you can tell stability is 18 by just hovering over it or you can click on it and it'll say it in there as well so let's get moving on our next rocket uh, we haven't named a rocket yet uh, up until this point um, because these have been very basic things and you know not really worth um, worth naming for any reason. I don't think we're going to name this one either. Let's see here. Put our heat shield on. Just in case we do uh, do need it. And uh, we're going to put a, a new um, service bay. This is a new part to this version 1.0. Uh, this is where you can, you can put your goo canister, your batteries, um, lots of other stuff in there. Uh, it's just to, because of the new aerodynamics, if you were to have that on the outside and you were to re-enter or, you know, even take off, it can, it can come flying off. It can be damaged and, and destroyed. Uh, one of the, one of the mods that I do have on here is Kerbal Engineer and I'm deciding whether or not I, I think it's a good idea to put, um, that on there. But at this time, these rockets are so basic that I really don't need too much information, um, to to fly them so it's like a delta v and all that other stuff i mean it's not i mean it's important but it's not real important yet because we're just you know aiming to leave the atmosphere uh which i'm getting ready to attempt with this rocket also you can close and open the cargo uh the the service bay obviously um what i did here is i decided to go ahead and get the uh science from from that because I didn't get it before and it cost me nothing just a quick easy science basically but now we're gonna we're gonna add some fuel tanks to this and we're gonna we're gonna take it out of the atmosphere and um, I probably could get orbit with this vehicle with this setup uh, just with the two tanks of fuel the small tanks of fuel and this engine Plus the the solid rocket booster I'm getting ready to throw on there right now. I probably could make orbit. I thought about going for it, but at the same time I was like, what's 
what's the rush? There's no rush. Uh, I'm going to get enough science to unlock um, more parts after this that will, will help me get into orbit. So I just decided not to chance it and to just go with this basic rocket. And oh, I did name it. This is going to be the uh, ZDR or stands for Zadian Death Rocket because I kill plenty of Kerbins. And it's going to be Orbit Mach 1. Orbiter Mark 1, sorry. You'll see that I'm using Jeb and um, Valentina a lot at the very beginning because they have the ability to uh, use the, the SAS and stability control. It just makes life a lot easier. Um, when you're taking off, make sure you immediately go into a uh, gravity turn. Don't do it too sharp, but um, by about 10,000, you should be about uh, 20, uh, about 45 degrees down, or not 45, uh, about 20 degrees down, like I'm about. As you can see, I haven't upgraded anything to the space center yet to, to have the, the nodes in the map view, but just uh, burn this thing up. You see, I still got plenty of fuel. I swear, I think I could have made orbit with this. I just decided not to. Uh, I wanted to get up into the upper atmosphere and in a sub suborbital trajectory and get some rewards and also be able to do the mystery goo and the science. And I got up there and I realized that I haven't upgraded my um, my uh, cr uh, crew area where you can get more Kerbals. So uh, can't do an EVA. So this is just like me trying to save the um, the, the science that's hanging at the bottom because I, I know I can't get to it. So yeah, I'm glad I didn't go into orbit. But I totally, I think I totally could have. Yeah, maybe not. Also, coming back in, you'll um, you'll deploy your parachute when you're going pretty damn fast. Uh, freaked me out when I first did it. I thought for sure I was gonna rip it off and, and kill my people, but uh, it won't. It's pretty sturdy. Uh, you can be you can be coming through and still have the fire effect on your on your aircraft, and it'll still deploy. As you can see, I'm getting ready to pancake everything below, which sucks. But I was able to hop out and get an EVA report from the ocean biome. So, I mean, that was, that was good. We still got 50 science. Um, we got up to 50 science. We didn't get 50 science for that, which... Anyways, uh, so, yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade the, uh, the, the astronaut complex so that my guys can go on EVA. Um, then we're gonna do some some research, get unlock some more tech nodes. Uh, you'll see the uh, the VIP um, missions. They're pretty cool. Uh, most of them are suborbital trajectories right now. Uh, later on, they will want to go to the moon. However, I don't want to build um, kind of like a crazy two seater, so I'm just sticking with with uh, no missions for right now. Um, that's going to be our next node that we want to unlock because it's got the bigger fuel tanks and the, uh, the poodle engine. It's not called the poodle engine, but I call it the poodle engine. Um, and that's going to be a huge, huge improvement for us. Uh, but right now, let's see, what am I doing? Am I going to build? I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh, you just... You did this. How do you not know? It's because I did a lot and things got messed up and I had to re-record. Oh, I did unlock it. I'm a retard. God, I'm stupid. Why are you watching this? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyways, this is going to be our Orbiter Mark, Mark II. This thing will take us to orbit very easily. Uh, it's going to have four of these um, medium fuel tanks and the the T30 with, or not that one, it's the, that one with the gimbal. And we're going to put some solid stock, uh, solid rocket boosters on the bottom of it. That's going to help us even more get into orbit. I should have sped this up. 
I don't know, people might want to watch me build rockets. I'll leave that up to you guys. Would you rather watch would you rather me speed up the rocket portion, the building portion? You guys tell me, would you rather watch me build the rockets or fly the rockets? At, at, which you know or both. You know, I can I can start slowing these down, and I probably will um, when we get into some later stuff. But for right now, you know, since everything is so basic, and I wanted to get a lot of this this uh, new stuff out of the way quickly, because after this mission, you know, I'm I'm planning on going to the moon and Minimus. So, you know, I'm just trying to get all the small stuff out of the way first. We're going to take Jebediah up into orbit. He's going to be the first one to go. So you think. This is where the uh, the stuff is going to happen. You'll see. Okay, you're done building. Go ahead and save this thing as the Mark II. Now let's get it on the launch pad and send it into space. It's going to be our first orbit exciting stuff. So we're going to go up and go immediately uh, towards a polar orbit. Um, this is because while we're up here, we're going to get a couple of EVA reports from the different biomes. And it's easier to do if you're in a polar orbit because you're going to go across far more biomes than you would if you were in an equatorial orbit. Um, those of you who are, are keen with an eye, you will notice that in the uh, bottom right hand corner was that is, that is not Jeb. That is a female. And um, that is because uh, when I got up here, and was doing the uh, the science experiments. I clicked on the um, it'll pop up saying EVA report or you know crew report in that little box I've got up there from the the science helper. I clicked on that and it's it's a glitch. My character Jeb um, Jeb died for no reason. He just. He was no longer there. When I clicked on that to do an EVA report, he disappeared. So this is uh, this is the second take, actually. And um, I apologize for that, but unfortunately, you know, when it when something glitches, I'm not gonna I'm gonna edit it out and redo it. Uh, it's just the way it goes. But right now what we're doing is we're getting into our first orbit. Nice polar polar orbit, uh, pretty stable, nice circular orbit. And uh, we're going to do some science. So what we do now is uh, we're just going to fly around the planet until we hit different biomes. And when we hit different biomes, that science helper is going to pop up and say, hey, do an EVA report. When it pops up, I do an EVA report. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to... The, one of the hardest ones to get is the uh, EVA above the shoreline because the shorelines are so thin and so skinny. So you kind of got to get lucky well not lucky but you just got to kind of plan out how to uh, actually get that one um, there's two in the uh, the the ice caps you've got the tundra and then you've got the uh, polar ice cap or something along the lines of that don't quote me on that terrible with names um, so yeah that's gonna happen Anyways, we're just going to continue going around. I think we do about one, I think we do one orbit before we um, come down on that southern uh, ice cap to, to end the episode. As you can see right here, I know I'm coming up on a shoreline, so I'm like, waiting. And I, I got it. I got the shoreline, which is the uh, one of the tougher ones to do. Now I'm just getting EVA reports from Mountain... The highlands, grasslands, stuff like that. I like this music I'm playing. It's actually kind of peaceful and it kind of fits with the whole redneck theme. Those of you who don't know, I am I'm from Georgia, so I am kind of a redneck, but I'm not like yuck redneck. You know, I'm just I'm I'm a what 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 most people would call a city boy, even though I'm I hate going downtown. Uh. 
but yeah, so, hence the accent, you know. I'm sure most of you are like, oh my god, he has an accent. No, yeah, I have an accent. Get our desert, that's gonna be our last one that we get um, before we uh, start our burn to land at the uh, the southern ice cap. All you, get, all you gotta do is just burn retrograde, I think that's retrograde, and uh, that'll get you back in. Um, I'm probably one of the worst people to talk to about uh, tutorials on how to get into space. Uh, so if you have any any questions about stuff like that, check out Scott Manley. He um, he's pretty much the authority on uh, Kerbal Space Program. He can he's the one I've watched to to learn how to do a lot of stuff. But um, anyway, when you're coming back in, you're gonna watch watch how I come back in. This is, this is what I was talking about with the new aerodynamics. Now, used to, since you're coming in like this, that, that bottom portion would actually be heavier than the capsule. And um, want to stay facing, you know, that direction. However, with the new aerodynamics and stuff, um, it gets a little wonky. So, I'm actually having to fight to, to keep it facing in the right direction. And as you can see, I'm at uh, about 26 um, thousand meters right now watch when I deploy see I started to get a little crazy there and I deployed the parachute at like 20,000 I was on fire and the parachutes fine didn't overheat nothing so let that be a lesson to you if you start to go a little bit crazy go ahead and deploy that chute save your butt you know so as we're coming down here we're going to uh, we're going to get a little science. Uh, I think I do eventually do a crew report, um, even though like I'm st watch going back and watching these and doing post commentary is actually kind of frustrating because I want to slap myself sometimes and be like, what the what the hell are you doing? Because I, I I went into this with a plan of how I was going to attack and 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 record and everything. However, you know the the glitch that happened with Jebediah kind of messed things up. So I actually ended up recording this the next day. So I kind of went outside of my plan uh, a little bit and wasn't paying attention but uh, I'll grab it see told you just give me a little time slow slow sometimes um, you can do an EVA report uh, when you're when you're coming down on a parachute like this and I'll show you uh, or I don't know if I do it or not I think I was a little scared, but um, once the chute deploys at uh, about 200 meters, you go slow enough that where you can climb outside and do an EVA report, and it warns you. It's like uh, you know, come on, this is dangerous, and you can ignore it and hop out. But I didn't in this case. I uh, trying to trying to tip it over so that it'll it'll land on its side so I can actually get back in the capsule. Um, unfortunately, or fortunately, it it didn't work. So uh, I was just able to get the mystery goo and the EVA report, and, and then second here I'm gonna hop out, and uh, I'm just gonna jump off. I'll be able to recover me and the vehicle, no problem. So I get the EVA report, recover me, uh, and I got only three science I brought back with that. But when I go into the mission control and go to recover the vessel itself. You'll see, I have quite a bit of science recovered with it. Uh, we're at 160. We were at 100. We were at 50. So we got like 110 science just from doing that. So early on, it is very good to go out there and get into a polar orbit. And get anyways, guys, thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate a like. Thank you for watching guys, as always I appreciate a like, a favorite, and please feel free to leave comments. Anyways, we'll see you next time, I am Zadian, and this has been Kerbal Space Program.